We begin with another devastating natural disaster in North Africa. Just days after the deadly earthquake in Morocco, Libya is now coping with major flooding that has wiped out entire villages and reportedly killed thousands of people. Video from the region, you can see it there, shows buildings collapsed, cars submerged, torrents of water rushing through the streets. The Libyan Nation National Army and a health official say more than 2,000 people are dead, five to 6,000 missing. Now, of course, it's impossible to verify those numbers as many areas are still unreachable and without communication. The city of Derna was especially hard hit. Authorities say two dams collapsed, three bridges were destroyed, and phone, li phone lines remain down. The storm system dumped about eight months' worth of rain on the region in just a single day. It caused catastrophic flooding in Greece just last week. Uh, the pictures are just staggering. We go live now to CNN's Eleni Giocos, who's been following developments for us from Dubai. Now, shockingly, um, the head of Libya's emergency and ambulance service has admitted to CNN that there was no warning for people, no warning to evacuate, yeah. to get to higher ground, or, or to really understand what was coming at them. And you know those emergency services also said that there was just lack of preparedness, that weather conditions weren't studied, there wasn't an understanding of the sea levels rising and just what the storm could mean. Um, and of course many are asking about negligence in this situation. People woke up in the middle of the night when the storm hit, seeing their homes flooded, some say up to three meters, and then desperately trying to find a way to get out. And of course, with seeing these images of just water everywhere, cars were swept away, people swept away. So many areas are now isolated, making it very difficult for search and rescue teams to try and figure out who they need to save and what is the next process. I mean, some of the search and rescue teams can't even get access and communications up with teams that are currently on the ground. So we're talking about immense catastrophe here, exacerbating the situation. You have two dams that were burst in where we're seeing now the epicenter of the big uh, tragedy in the city of Derna. And that, of course, causing more pressure, water coming through, filling up the valley, causing more catastrophe. I mean, what it seems like, you've got roads that are basically, and homes that are melting away with this water. Authorities are telling us there are still bodies lying around. So when we say that the death toll now is over 2,000, difficult to ascertain the number at this point in time. Between five and 6,000 people, uh, Paul is still missing.